What's up, y'all? Magic seventy nine here, and today we are taking a look at another SH Figures figure, most likely the rarest, probably most difficult figures I've ever attempted to acquire in my life as a collector. This is the SH Figures in game Avengers Thanos. Man, finally. A uh, huge shout out to uh, Ageless Geeks and Alex and his team for helping me secure this figure. I paid 120 US dollars for him. Yes, yes. Thanos, quite arguably the greatest movie villain of all time. Obviously, he originated as a comic book villain, but I have his movie form, which is where I know him the most from. So, okay, let's take a look at the packaging here. Uh, it should be no secret that Avengers Endgame is one of my favorite movies of all time. Now, at this point, it's at least in my top five. I don't know the exact order of my top five, but it's definitely in my top five movies of all time. All right, man, so we got the figure in the package here. Looks really cool. You can already see an extra face scope here. I uh, got his helmeted face. Avengers logo, Thanos, Marvel, Avengers, Endgame, Bandai, Tamashi Nations. Turn it to the side. Nothing really there. Got some sticker and turn it to the back here. Got these figures. Got some Thanos, some Japanese writing. Uh, simple style action. Writing, barcode, starting to this side. Looks good. Top. Oh, let's read this real quick. Uh, SH Figure Arts, a new standard figure series that blah 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 blah. Freeze it if you want to read it. Uh, turn it to the bottom here. Nothing. Just choking has us. Alright, man, let's crack this baby open and let's take a look. Okay, everybody. Ah, he's headless. What happened? <laughs> well, Thor went for the head. That's what. That's what. That's what happened. <laughs> All right. Uh, I wanted to change it up a little bit and go through some of his accessories first. So, with the helmet here and the face sculpt, he comes with like numerous different face sculpts and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. Kind of like half. It's no, but it's no way to like you know posing with just his his regular head though i'm sure if you have just the regular avengers infinity war thanos you can plug that head into this figure too but i'm gonna go with the uh smiling face here yeah as you can see it's really cool so what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to take this back piece here and we'll plug this into here Let's see if i can do it on camera here there we go so i'll get that there yeah, and Take this front piece here, and you just want to plug that in right there, like so. And then you want to take this here, make sure you line it up good and hold good, make sure it's tight, and it snaps right on. Look at that! Ah, all right. Now, so let's go ahead, um, show off his other uh, head sculpt here. Comes with a gritting teeth head sculpt there, as you can see. Wow. Infinity Gauntlet hands. Uh, I think I'm actually going to take this Infinity Gauntlet and just pose it just by itself to kind of like have its own, you know, you know, little cool aspect. Some really cool um, details going on with this gauntlet too, man. Look at that. That's really cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that, man. All right, so then let's get a closer look at the sword here. Beautiful. We got a really alien architecture some really good designs going in here and the sword is really easy to get into his into his hands here too um, one thing you got to do is just pull this little piece out there and slide it in that's what she said and slide it right back in ah look at that see it fits like a charm all right man so hat can rotate oh if it won't snap off so obviously when you start pulling on this stuff it gets a little bit loose so just keep that in mind uh hat can rotate left and right uh, it's on a ball peg uh, connected to the neck too so you kind of you kind of going to get some turners when you try to rotate that around too so be careful um i keep trying to rotate it 360 degrees but the head keeps popping off here so i just wouldn't even do that but it can go left to right and look down slightly upwards slightly so okay so arm rotate 360 degrees all the way up, all the way down, elbow joint, boom, get 90 degrees, back down, get no bicep swivel and no elbow swivel, right, because he's such a big guy, it's a little bit disappointing though, rotation in the infinity gauntlet hand, uh, can I get it tilted up a little bit, there you go, and to the back, 
be. Same thing with all my reviews. I'm not going to do the left arm too. I feel like that's just wasting time. Um, but we do have a chest crunch here. Bing. And so you can go backwards a little bit. He does have an ab crunch as well. Go forward that much. As you can see. Go backwards that much. Rotate. Uh, oh, he pulled apart. Oh no. So, <laughs> but he's not broke. As you can see, he's on a peg here. So that's cool. So let's just snap him back in. Eh, I don't know really how I feel about that design. Because, yeah, it makes him really acceptable to just be pulled apart. Uh, I think I, I kind of like my figure to be a little bit more sturdier, especially when he's like $120. So, so see now, so see now he's crooked. Now I gotta, I gotta fix him here. Okay, that was a bit of a chore getting that torso, that torso back on straight. So you make sure if you pull it apart, you definitely gonna make sure you line it up here correctly, or so you can snap it back on crooked, and nobody wants that. So yeah. Definitely uh, good to note there. Uh, okay, so let's let's do the leg here real quick. Um, can kick forward, kick backwards. Leg is on a ball pack too. Actually, can the, the thigh really can't go that much backwards, man. So knee joint, Ooh, that's tight. Goodness, um, could be kick forward like so. Backwards. That's all you get right there. See if he's got a swivel here. Mm, not really a swivel either. Hmm. Does he have a swivel in the knee? Nope. Does he have a swivel in the ankle? Uh, yeah, ankle's on a ball peg, but it kind of gets hindered by these little greaves here, as you can see. Yeah. Beautiful looking figure, but not really that eh, that well made. Honestly, uh, I don't I don't know, man. I, and to keep it completely honest with you, I have not watched any other action figure reviewers re take of this either. So I don't know. I'm starting to be a little bit biased against this figure. I mean, he's beautiful, and I'm so happy to have him to my add him to my collection because he's like one of my he's like one of my favorite villains of all time now. But ugh. for 120 bucks, eh, it's a little bit it's a little bit rough. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I gotta, I, I gotta keep it honest, man. I got to keep it honest. So yeah. So then he does have a toe hinge here as well. So it's good. And then especially going, f just coming from the Broly and the Gogeta, which were awesome figures, especially the Broly, man. So it's like, yeah, this, this Thanos just, you know, I feel like they could have made him a little bit better. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, man. That's all I'm saying. So let's just take a closer look at the figure to actually see how see how beautiful he is, which is probably the, the main aspect of the figure. So I mean, the goads really really pop. Let's get some more lighting in there too. So the, so like I said, the goads really really pop. So it looks beautiful. So I mean, when he when he's on your shelf, I mean, he's gonna look absolutely stunning, man. There's no there's no doubt about that. Let's bend it to the back here blacks the purples everything comes out good man yeah zoom in here i feel like maybe well no nah, i guess it wouldn't make sense for him to have a whole bunch of different colors and stuff so i mean the gold and the black will really make sense for him so fitting gauntlet really came out good sure it again yeah man all right so let's uh let's hit some comparisons real quick and then we'll finish up here all right, and we're back. So let's hit these comparisons real quick, man. So here he is next to the uh, Civil War Captain America SH Figure Arts, the Civil War Iron Man um, SH Figure Arts, and then here's the Marvel Legends Infinity War Thor. So obviously Thor is going to be a bit taller than Cap and Iron Man. Makes sense. So he's not that much shorter than Thanos. I, can't, I feel like he's a little bit big compared to Thanos. But, I mean, I'm not really that worried about it. But, obviously, that's perfect scaling, I think, compared with the cap and the Iron Man to Thanos here. So, I think he'll, he will definitely fit in kind of to Marvel Legends scale as well. I haven't 
held the Marvel Legends in game Thanos in my hand, so I don't really have that to compare. But I would assume he's probably a little bit bigger than the SH Figure Arts version here. But I, honestly, I'm quite satisfied. Other than a few nicks and crannies here, pretty satisfied with the SH Figure Arts version, version here. And then when I was looking at him, comparing which one I wanted to get, I mean, it was just really a no brainer. I feel like it looks a lot, it looked a lot better on paper at least than the Marvel Legends version. But that's not to say, I mean, but honestly though, I think the Thor, compared with the uh, the SH Figure Arts Thor, I mean, it really doesn't, it's not that really much of a difference. Um, I was thinking about the uh, the Walmart exclusive um, in-game Captain America 2, if I can f freaking find it in stores, yep, and I absolutely refuse to pay anything over retail for him? No, F that. I don't, no, I'm not paying scalper prices for that figure. No, I'm not, I ain't doing it. <laughs> so if anybody's got a $20 plus tax cap that's willing to sell, hit me up. But anything over that, nah, man, you can go screw yourself. Sorry. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and like shipping too. So I mean, I would think like what? No more than like $26, $27? I mean, I'm just saying. So, yeah, man, uh, I think we'll, we'll, we will end it here. So, I am very satisfied with how the Thanos came out. Um, not my favorite figure, definitely, but he is an integral part of the MCU. I mean, I feel like you cannot have an MCU figure base without him in it now. So, you gotta have him in either this version or the, or the Marvel Legends version. So really happy with it uh, very happy to add it to my collection i will do a full shelf montage after we get out of here too so as always man thanks everybody for watching if this video reaches 100 likes i will do a marvel giveaway most likely a marvel legends giveaway so if you're subscribed to youtube.com slash marjack79 and also facebook instagram and twitter at marjack79 uh, you automatically qualify to for the giveaway if this video reaches 100 likes so i mean everybody likes a free figure right so why not help a brother out so all right man as always thanks everybody for watching